Well, Mark Weisbrot is co-director of the Centre for Economic and Policy Research in Washington. And as you can see, he's ready to talk to us. So uh, how serious is this situation now? People are using uh, words like coup. Are we really there yet? Well, I think it is serious. I think the opposition or the leadership at least is trying to overthrow the government. And, you know, uh, near majority, 47 percent of the people voted uh, for the president, which was over 10 points more than the next runner up. And so he but won. Those, those results, sorry to interrupt straight away, but those results are exactly what's disputed. Do you have faith in yeah. those results? Yes. Well, if you notice, you can read, you know, dozens, hundreds of articles since October 20th on the web and on this election, and not one presents even one shred of evidence that the election uh, was in doubt, uh, stolen, or anything else. And so this is uh, this is very bad. I think uh, it was very bad decision on the part of the organization American State. They can they put one sentence into their press release after the election without any evidence whatsoever, implying that there was something wrong with the result. And so that was picked up by most of the media. But you, you can look at any website for any major news organization in the world, and no one has yet presented any evidence. And that's because there isn't any. I mean, you don't even have to need, you don't even need a statistical analysis. We did one, which you can see at CEPR.net, but you can just look at the numbers. Uh, from the election, and there's nothing that indicates anything was wrong. OK, well, given that, why are so many people out on the streets now, then, do you think? Well, you had a lot of people in 2009 uh, on the streets tried to overthrow the government uh, then. And so you do have a, an opposition that wants to get rid of this government, and they've used violence in the past. And so it's it's not that surprising. But I think the media has played a huge role by simply repeating over and over again this allegation, which is really nothing at this point more than a, an unfounded conspiracy theory, because there's nothing to indicate that there's something wrong with the result. And the Organization of American States is there now conducting an audit, and the opposition refuses even to accept that because they want to get rid of the government. What about this other line that's been reported then about police and the police's role here? Yeah, there's been some police who have supported the opposition. You have to remember, too, though, the OAS decision was very important, and they're under enormous pressure from the Trump administration and Senator Rubio have publicly stated uh, their intentions to also get rid of this government. And so that's So, hang on, are you, say, are you saying that there are, there are forces in Washington that would like a change of government? And oh, that there's that's no doubt what, about that. There's that, no doubt. But how involved are they in supporting you? Are you saying they're behind protests on the streets there? What's the relationship? No, I think that the, the most obvious relationship is with the OAS. The United States supplies 60% of the funding of the OAS. Uh, Rubio has openly pressured the OAS before, and so has the Trump administration. And so they are under pressure, and there are people inside the OAS who know this, uh, and they're under pressure to say this. They didn't put it in their second press release, and they still haven't produced one shred of evidence that there was something wrong with the vote count or the result. So that people know, I mean, we've talked to people in okay. there. People know that this is wrong, uh, and hopefully they'll be honest about uh, the audit because they're not going to find any evidence of fraud. OK, Mark, thank you very much. Really interesting to talk to you. That's what my wife brought there. Thank you for us live in Washington. Thank you. Thank you.